Hi, welcome to our reading for the end of December 2016. Remember, it's a general reading. See what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign and that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. How you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for that wave? Crashing into the wave? Riding the wave or ignoring the wave? Also, feel free to make this an interactive video if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, definitely try to check out the playlist, the music below. See if there's some personal messages for you in the lyrics, the music. The videos just enjoy the tunes thank you for being here I love you guys and I'll see you in a moment for the reading hi Gemini welcome to our reading for Gemini Sun Moon and Rising for the end of December 2016 so around the 22nd to the 31st almost 2017 we're gonna do a nice simple three card reading for the end of the year here so let's begin with the daily messages from your angels oracle cards for Gemini Sun Moon and Rising let's see what God source Holy Spirit our higher self angels and energies of love have for the highest greatest good of all let's get clarity focus into the energies coming through at the end of December here for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Clarity, Understanding, Wisdom for Gemini to ride these energies best. Let's start with one card. I feel like I said Clarity twice, so maybe you need extra Clarity, or you're waiting to become clear with something, or you need uh, to make something clear to someone. Fresh air. So, um... So when you feel like there is too much energy all around you and you can't understand what's happening and you need to just get out, get out. Go take a walk. You know, go on a walk. Go on a hike. Get some fresh air. Breathe a little bit. Pray. Have some alone time. Have some you time. Get away from, I'm getting chaos or like energy or just emotions or situations that are pulling you in. It's like... Ah, uh, you're just gonna do this and now you gotta go over here. This person's calling you to get that done. Or now you have to go over here. So even if this is just a moment, even if you know you have somewhere to be, Gemini, don't rush. You know, if you get the call and you have to go and they're waiting, you know, if you need a moment when you get there to sit in your car and breathe before you go in so you don't feel like you're rushing to one thing, take that you moment, even if it's a moment even if it's two minutes, even if it's five, 20, take a power nap even. Um, but I feel like this is actually connecting to nature. Like you need to ground yourself. Um, maybe pay attention to signs in nature specifically. Maybe your signs at the end of the month are not gonna really come through the crowd, but come through when you're not in the crowd or when you have like, uh, I don't know, I even see somebody walking through a crowd but in their own energetic bubble frequency you're like your own world you know almost like you got your headphones on and that's not even bothering you it's not affecting you it's just like water off your back um you know like when vincenzo takes a shower it just sort of rolls off his back so maybe you just need to like let something roll off your back maybe it's not such a big deal maybe just change your pace change your space change the environment around maybe just leave that environment maybe take that person that's stressed out maybe it's not even you maybe there's someone around you stressed out and all they need is for you to be the one like come on let's go to lunch we're going to lunch let's go put it away put it away we'll come back to it later let's go have a good time or let's go relax let's go put some fuel and nutrition in our bodies and then come back and think about this a different way or it's like 
Um, I'm getting spending time with your children too. Maybe your kids need to get out of the house. Maybe it's cold where they are, or they're stressed at school, or there's something going on, and maybe it's just going around and having a good old fashioned conversation around the block, walking the dog, um, you know, going to the store, maybe talking in the car even, but I feel, I feel like you're going somewhere. You, even if there's transportation involved, it's the destination or where you're going that the answer comes through, the conversation comes through, it's the outdoor. I'm still getting wind and like elements, so maybe you're talking about the weather. <laughs> maybe you have to like, maybe you've had to change how your normal outdoor activities have gone because of the weather or there's a change in what you do outdoor wise because of the seasons. So um, maybe you've been like preparing for snow but you haven't gone out and made a snowman yet. Or um, you're somewhere where there's warm and you're not, you, you haven't gone swimming yet. You know, it could even be that you're going on vacation somewhere and you got all ready to go there and now you're sitting in your hotel room watching some weird station on TV instead of getting out, going to the pool, you know, um, going to the spa, going shopping, walking around the block, checking out the neighborhood, um, calling up your friend that you, you went there, I'm getting somebody like on a trip, so maybe you're like going to, to visit someone and you're just wasting time in your hotel room, or maybe you need a little time first, you know, a good little nap or something before you go on out get your energy ready you're gonna go out on an adventure so your body needs refreshment from ox oxygenated air generated by grass trees plants and flowers spend time outside today as near to mother nature's cradle as possible open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well I'm getting even if it's a little bit chilly like crack the windows a little bit if it's the daylight's there you can circulate the air a little bit so it's not stagnant you know you have the heat on all the time or if you're somewhere where you always have um you're somewhere where the air conditioner is on even get outside and maybe enjoy the sunlight get a little bit of opposite i'm getting that like where you sleep at night and you have like one leg outside of the covers because it just makes that perfect temperature to sleep in like if you were in your cocoon it's a little too hot or like sleeping in a cocoon and you have the window on and a little breeze and that's kind of nice um just like if it's you know nice and hot in the summer then you have a little bit of air coming through with a fan and that's like the opposite temperature i'm even getting like driving and having your windows open a little bit but having like the heat on that opposite thing so maybe you need to go opposite of where you are now. If you have it dark, open up the windows. Maybe if you, I'm still getting sleep or doing something alone for some reason. So um, maybe you need to go on a walk or go outside and exercise so you sleep good. Like a little kid or your kids sleep good. You know, you get, walk around, circulate those energies, actually have some physical movement in your body so that you are just like refreshed, thinking clearly, you know, recirculating your energy, feeling good, getting endorphins moving, coming up with good solutions, not getting stuck in the same old, same old, sort of what I'm getting. Like, when you don't know what to do, just go out for a walk. Go out and do something different. Change your environment, get some fresh air. You know, help somebody else get some fresh air and see how much your energy can change from that. All right, let's go to the... Oh, I almost lost the cards. This is the... Uh, um, guardian Angel Tarot. Let's get clarity for Gemini on fresh air. And that is the Six of Emotion. This is really close to the reading for, I want to say the 22nd of December. I think that both of these cards came up for that reading, so maybe that reading has something in it for Gemini specifically because it was the it, it was exactly these two cards the six of emotion is the redos the retries perhaps this has to do with you know the retrograde and things coming back around memories resurfacing things, things bottling back up things coming back around that you forgot about that you didn't want to that you didn't want to pay attention to you thought they were just done and over with or the longer you put it off the farther on the back burner it got and now something's getting hot something's coming back or something's like chance meeting coming back in your life it could be somebody from your past coming on back or you 
deciding to call somebody out of nowhere and reconnecting to somebody or something, a relationship. It's memories. It can be like remembering something like, oh, I had such a good time and that all the time, but you forgot the time you broke your leg. You know, it's like you love to ski and whatever, but you forgot about that one, that one time because, or it's, you know, only focusing on that one time you broke your leg and not the 200 times. I don't know why I'm getting so much skiing or like snowboarding coming through lately. Maybe a lot of you do winter sports or it's just the change in season or winter or you're doing something like that. Or you did that as a kid. Uh, but that's definitely coming through, even though it's like spring or motion or summer energy here. Um, I just heard beach volleyballs. I mean, <laughs> I don't, maybe you can do that in the snow or maybe you're somewhere where there's a beach and it's hot. Um, that was really specific. Maybe you did volleyball as a kid or something like that. Um, uh, this is also when you like only remember that one weird time and not all the amazing times. So it's understanding all of those times create an experience and not to dwell so much on the what was, what will be, oh, what was me, what I didn't do. It, this was so good and you're really putting a weird memory kind of light on it on whatever you're painting that memory to be according to however it was fueled in your emotional filter and body. So this always comes back to remind you to clean the filter, to address something that needed to be addressed to clear the slate to bring a misunderstanding good communication through um, like if there was something that wasn't understood it's that chance to reconnect and make it like oh I didn't know that that makes so much more sense it's like sometimes there was silence for a long time you don't even know what happened and now it makes sense so this reconnection brings another memory it brings another chance possibly a restart a redo or a reconnection where you can then just go different paths but you go different paths feeling a different way because of this reconnection I want to say there might be delays too here because this makes me think of the the mercury retrograde when I get the six of emotion like the six of cups so it makes me think of retrying re-energizing re strategizing, re-embracing something, retrying something, not doing it the same way, retrying it the new way, the new way you need to make it, you know, that that happy medium for you now, not what didn't work before, but taking a little bit of what didn't work to use as a platform to know what does work. Um, memories can fill your heart with many emotions. It's important to remember your past accurately without seeing it as better or worse than it was like realistic think about your past realistically like how did you realistically go through something or why are you going through something or why did you go through something and is that beneficial to you now do you understand something better now because of what you went through um it could just be you going through something now and it's making you think of something you went through in the past how did you handle that in the past are you going to handle that the same now are you handling it with different energies or different people now that you can't do it or you should do it like you did in the past or somebody coming back from the past to give you some advice help you out a little bit maybe they went through something in the past that they can help you with in your now so you can make beautiful moments now it always brings you back to having a memory you like now regardless of what happened in the past or what you want it, wanted it to be for the future and what did or did not happen people you used to know may return in your life unexpectedly although now you might expect the unexpected you might not know who it is or it might be that person you were thinking about and they call it could go either way it might be unexpected for the other person to hear from you maybe you unexpectedly think about making that call you were putting off a long time and it is unexpected maybe not for you maybe it is you didn't expect to get that urge to call and make that connection and clear things up and all the time it was that simple phone call and it was so easy because this brings pleasure it brings something easy it doesn't bring stress it's like kids playing kids playing outside not worrying about getting in trouble they're just doing it to see let's see what'll happen let's try it let's open the book and see let's see what new memories can come um children could be an important issue or you may need to reconnect with your own inner child so if this isn't about like children around you or something connecting you to your past or a past memory then you need to go back to the past for some reason and reconnect to something you did or felt or was going on in your past because it has a healing energy that's going to bring a breath of fresh air somewhere in your world 
even if it's not you, it may be towards somebody else. It may be it's something that you went through in your past that's helpful for this little kid's experience or this experience you're having in a new situation. You can remember how you did it then and how you're going to do it now. But sometimes it's, I, I, it's all this child energy. If you're being too much of a like sourpuss lately or you're not getting out of the house, you're just staying inside. Maybe it could be holidays are weird. Holidays can get weird for all of us. Even every holiday, every different dynamic throughout the years and everything everyone is going through. If you have family, if you don't have family, you know, if there's friends, if there's drama, if there's nothing going on and you're just alone. So this is telling you Maybe you're thinking about what you did as a childhood. Maybe this is holidays. Maybe this is your brothers, your sisters, your children, what you did when you were a child and what you can't do now. Maybe you have to work. You know, you wish you could have that memory where you sit like a little kid and you put out cookies for Santa or um, go to holiday parties or something like that and you're just inside being an adult too much and you need to just feel a little bit free here. It's almost like... I'm, I'm seeing like a homemade gift. Maybe it's just about like making something sweet, like taking somebody out to lunch, making a sandwich. Like I, I see two people cooking together. So maybe, you know, you were worried about something and it's simple, something as simple as like going out to lunch or making a gesture, you know, they're just like playing together. They're not really doing anything. There is a bunny there. So this playing together could very well turn into something else, but it starts innocent. <laughs> it starts innocent with your own inner child. There is no pressure. There is no expectations. They're not looking at this little bunny and planning their wedding in a month yet. Yet. You know, it's possible they're like, you know, this is that connection and they stay together for 200 years, <laughs> a thousand years, you know, 20 years, two years, whatever, you know, but it starts with opening up the page to page one and seeing where page one takes you. Maybe reopening an old page from something like an old diary. Maybe it's something like that. I just saw somebody's old diary. And that is the four of coins. So this is holding on to something really, really tight. Gemini, it's usually the miser or like when you're protecting something. So there's stability in holding on to something here. Even though this is always the coins, I feel like there's always emotion because you're always afraid of losing something when you're holding on to something. It's good. It's good to put the pennies in the bank. You know, each experience, that's a new experience. That's a new experience. But sometimes you need to open up to your experience or open up to something new coming in so that all those coins or those experiences that you're saving up have value. You have to open something up here. You have to open up the treasure here. You have to Take something out so you can plant a good seed in so it can grow. If you're always closed on everything you have. I mean, when I see this, sometimes I think of somebody who has a lot of feelings for someone and never said it. Never expressed how they really, really feel about something. And it was holding them, you know, holding them back and like not allowing you to blossom somehow. So this could be somebody who was holding back a lot of feelings and decides to say it. Decides to open up about something. Express how they feel. To not be so worried about how they're going to be taken or, you know, if it's going to be judged. It's just trusting that if you open up with something that has value, it's valuable to you. So if you plant that valuable seed somewhere, you know, in a relationship, somewhere outside, somewhere different, not in the same old safe. You know, this is not having that same job that you go to every day and you're putting the same thing in the bank and then you're never ever going on vacation. You're never taking your vacation days. You're just saving, 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 saving. And then at the end, you had all this saved and you forgot to do anything with it all. So it's taking one of those coins, your vacation days, your something, Gemini, and saying, you know what, this week, I'm going to push my responsibility. I'm going to go get some fresh air. I'm going to go to that place I always thought of going when I was a kid on vacation or take my kids here or pretend like I'm on the beach, go somewhere different and go and take that coin and go away somewhere, do something different. And that vacation is bringing the inspiration. That re-energizes your batteries. That brings you the relationship of the lifetime of the person that you met on the plane. 
You know, it brings you that freedom to feel like you can go back to work and not feel like you're just going through the cycles all over and you have new solutions because you have new inspiration. You're like, that was so worth it. I'm going to plan another trip in three months and make sure I go to that because that made me excited to come home and get back into routine. But you needed to feel that you had to do something different or go away somewhere first before you could get back into the routine or be before you start to see something planned. Maybe you come back to work and now you're really happy. Now you start to see things different, have different solutions, and you know, you get a raise or you, you moved up to boss or you realize you don't even want to do that job at all. When you went away somewhere else, you figured out you want to do something different. You're going to start to do the hobby and you go a different direction. You opened up your box. You took a chance. You did something else. It doesn't have to be huge. It's one little thing. It could be starting to do a class. Take one of those coins, put it into a class, a seminar, something you wanted to do and see what uh, fruitious, beautiful, fruitful, uh, new, I'm getting like nutritious things blossom out of that situation. The coins is pentacles, so it has to do with work, energy, time, um, uh, what you value, your values. So what do you value? For some that's a relationship, it's your time, it's your energy, it's your love, it's your job, it's your family, you know, it's your home. What is this for you? Maybe it's your home. You thought you wanted a really big house, but then it takes you five hours every day to clean it. Maybe it's just taking all those rooms in the house and downsizing. You get a tiny house, you know, on a trailer. Instead, you're like, I only needed one room the whole time. You know, you get rid of all the stuff you didn't need, all the stuff that was feeling like it was cluttered, and all of a sudden you can walk around and see everything that you have that you actually do use, and maybe you can take all those other things and somebody else can get use out of those collections and things that you have. There's value somewhere else, but it was just cluttering up your house. Even though it had value to you, what really has value to you? What do you need to get rid of and what do you need to put back in your plate to really put some true value in? All right, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful to you. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.